Uh. Yeah, this is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> it's Trina there. Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. Something just flew up my nose. What flew up your nose, D? little winter net. Wasn't no net. That was a booger that went back up. It, it was light. Been. It was light. It thought it could make it down. Then you breathed in. It was like, ah! It almost made me choke. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> 5150 lives another week. Chat room goons. Y'all motherfuckers be out there. It was some chat room goons like a motherfucker Sacramento this week. Oh, is that where you were at? Yeah, Sacramento Christine. chat room goons. What it do, baby? Yeah, baby they be at the show, right? Yeah. Because, like, some of them seen the special. And they be waiting to see if I got some new shit. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Motherfucker, I've been working. They be at the show, like, yeah, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all good, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Sack Town. Uh, somebody got Soul One on that motherfucker. Where the fuck that nigga been? You still soul skinny, one? nigga? Is that him? I don't know. Oh. Somebody say, Darlene, where's my sweet potato? That's some nigga you be talking to, huh? Oh, no, no, it's not. Mm. Corey got his prince robe on. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, like fuck y'all, nigga. It's pretty fly, though. It's chilly oh. out here. They don't get it. It's really. For LA. It ain't cold in LA, yeah. but it's chilly. It's if you ain't chilly. got no jacket on, motherfucker, that cold gonna be like, we ain't no mm -hmm. bitch. Anyway, Corey looked like the Blue Ranger. Fuck y'all, nigga. We finna start out talking about some shit. Look, Darlene don't even know what I got to say. I don't. But I'm so glad she here because we need a woman for this topic. Oh, Lord. We need a woman for this topic. Frank, you can chime Frank, in if you, you want to. <laughs> Frank back there with his little laugh. <laughs> he don't bring Genevieve no more. Something happened. Uh-oh. Fuck Corey. He's a piece of shit. I <laughs> sheet. I love it. <laughs> anyway, check this shit out. Hmm. What's his name? First, first, first uh, oh, thing of the night, 1999. Oh, I, I couldn't get his that. name. He had yeah. a weird name. Tell him he's got to send us a separate uh, message. Yeah, send his name. But yo, let's talk about this shit. This all my Alvin from Atlanta. Alan. Alan, thanks, Alan. Alan from Atlanta. All right. Alan from Atlanta in the motherfucking house. Thanks for dropping 1999 out your mouth, Nick. That was a anyway. Now let's talk about this shit because this is some shit that can't be going without motherfucking being said. Mm. I want to let you know, fellas. Us men are in a real weird predicament when bitches try to holler at your girl in your face, or so they think they doing behind your back. Oh my. Out here in this world, it's a lot of pussy munching bitches. And they see you out with your girl, and they will flirt with your girl. They got slick ways of doing it. And the problem is, when you know what they doing, you be wanting to say, bitch, I know what you doing. But you be like, okay, I don't know if I should start no shit, because it is what it is. Confused. But what I'm saying is, okay, if your girl is out in public... Two things that you need to worry about. A bitch disrespecting by being in your bitch face and acting like you don't know. And if you don't know, your girl fuck with bitches. Have you ever thought about that? No, because you did have me lost there for a second. Because I was wondering, are you talking about then the two types of, in other words, they're not supposed to it's be. It's two things you got to worry about. Mm -hmm. You got to worry about a bitch being disrespectful to you. talking about a side bitch. No, I'm talking about just a bitch in public that walk up to you. And flirt with a girl that you might be with. Like, like, cause you know, bitches, they they bold. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, I've never had that. So okay. little, little dyke bitches, they okay. run up on you. Well, cause, they, they, cause I'm sure it, you didn't have a, 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 a little 
no, uh, not, pussy not. muncher walk up to you and just be like, hey, how you doing? Because what they do, fellas, this is what they always do. Let me hit you with uh-huh. this. This is what they do. When a girl is with a dude, I'm going to put y'all up. Some of y'all going to know what I'm talking about. The dyke bitch stand away where you can't see what she's saying and how she's looking at your girl. But that goes with anybody that's trying to get with another person, whether it's your girl or your guy. They're, of course, they're going to be in the cut and try to get the attention and see if you go for it. Of course. They're see if but I'm saying, like, guys mm-hmm. don't think like that. Really? Guys think it's just a girl saying hi to your girl in a way, like, whatever, because women are used to bitch-ass niggas walking up, running bullshit, shit, like, hey, this that your man, or, right, or whatever the fuck, the shit that right. starts some shit. Mm-hmm. If, a nigga, if a nigga walk up to you, if you with your woman, and a nigga walk up to you and say, hey, is this your man, that nigga already out of pocket. Because he supposed to talk to you first about whatever the fuck is going on. That ain't ever supposed to happen, right? They're not <laughs> he out of motherfucking pocket. Hmm. But when it's reversed, it be the bitch. They walk up, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? You right here. She done stood in front of you. Hey. Oh. This is what they do. They give your girl <laughs> that. Do you fuck with bitches out? I've never had it happen when I was with someone. But I've had it happen alone. With the with the woman trying to do that, not yeah. and and they ain't outright. They're just doing that, like you said. Very. They got codes. I'm putting y'all up on yeah. game. Um, you have to get the notion out your mind that women are innocent. Bitches ain't shit, man. I'm trying to tell you, it's good people in the world, good go. men, good women. But don't ever think because a woman is a female that she won't run it on you. When you with your woman, this bitch is bold enough to walk up to your girl and touch her. And sometimes, if you ain't got the type of girl to be super socket bitches, they be caught <laughs> off guard. I can't. They be like, did this bitch, bitch walk up to you? Hey, girl. Oh, you no. That's, a, oh, that's yeah, what they no, do. That's right, because they think that they can get away with that. I was with a bitch one day. If they do that. Then. Bitch was going to Victoria's Secrets. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm walking Victoria's Secrets. I'm already mad. I don't want to be in this puss ass store. But the bitch was like, well, the girl I was with was like, oh, I want to get fitted for a, a bra. Oh, mm-hmm. So the girl stood in front of me and was like, oh, so you want a bra? And she touched on her arm. And then she looked at me. I was like, so you got to touch on her arm before you fit her for the bra. And then the girl was like, no, why are you tripping? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, now nah, I'm stupid. Now nah, nah, yeah. I'm insecure. Both you guys are dumb. Yeah, bitch, get like, out of my face. Have another hilarious. bitch come over here and help her with the bra. Just because I don't give a fuck about sucker shit. I just don't give. I just don't like no motherfucker playing don't me play like me. I'm a sucker. Right. Don't play either one of you guys. And not only that, nowadays too, that's re- if if a man had done that, do you know what I'm saying? It, but men have but, done shit t- like that. No, I know that, but I'm saying with the with what all that's going on right now. I mean, you, they gotta you know just because like you said, they're women. They think they can get away with that. Nah. Don't touch on me. There's a, there's a, there's a space. It's like, to be ladylike is to be not hitting motherfuckers out the blue and shit like that. Even mm-hmm. though it's bitches out here who will super sock the fuck out of bitch who try to play her like that. Because I seen the shit. You know the comedian Dominique? Mm-hmm. What? This minute. bitch walked up on Dominique and the bitch was drunk. It's a bitch we all see down there at the improv on Mondays, but I was laughing my ass off. That bitch ran up on Dominique. I was like, hey, girl, how you doing? Uh-oh. You know, Dominique, we, we see the bitch. So she was like, hey. So the bitch hugged Dominique, but then she put her pelvic going on. Dominique, oh. I saw Dominique. She shut that bitch. <laughs> Oh. And the bitch played it off. Oh, <laughs> I was like, no, you nah, don't play that no shit with them yeah. She was like, that bitch gonna get fucked up out here pushing up, putting her motherfucking pussy on me, mm. Dom- Damo. Way to go, Damo. <laughs> yeah. Damo ain't no motherfucking um, drama ass woman, but goddamn it, these dyke hoes motherfucking, they go too far. Peel popping dyke hole bitches. It don't make any any different. If they're going to act like that and do stuff that a dude would do to women, it's, they're going to get the same kind of treatment if the girl doesn't want it. But there's people out here who say you should never hit a woman. I know, but this woman and woman shit, if somebody touched me, are you kidding me? But I'm saying like, what if you would what if your girl is petite, such as Frank and Genevieve? Frank is going to have to smush her. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 
So it is a it is a, a reason to yeah. slap the shit out of bitch. Oh hell yeah. You don't be touching on people. No Dude, I'm so glad you said that. I thought you was going to be like, no, you shouldn't hit her. You should offer her a cricket. Have I ever said that? Come on. My mom needed an ass whipping. She was always, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no, come on now. <laughs> I know that. Somebody said I got on a royal crown warm up. John Storm. Fuck you, nigga. This it, it does look, look, on, look on the camera. It does look like it looks different. It looks pretty fly. Look, it looks smooth. Somebody said velvet. velvet. <laughs> a hemorrhoid it's pillow. It's fleece. It's really thick fleece. Anyway. No, anyway. but I, I hear you. No, that's super foul no matter how you look at but it. But you know what? A lot of guys are in a situation with a girl who fuck with women and they don't fucking tell the dude. Same thing like the, the, the on the down low type dudes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but like if... if, if I. I think that one would be harder to see, though. I guess huh. I guess you need a dude here, besides Frank. Frank might compromise himself. Uh oh. But Frank, could you fuck with a girl who fuck with girls? Uh yeah. He said, yeah. uh yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> she, can, I, she can invite one over anytime. Too. He said Genevieve can invite one over anytime, Genevieve. So Just Frank, I there. bought this bitch <laughs> from UPS, and she's gonna help us. <laughs> Mail packages after we <laughs> suck and fuck this whore. Oh, my God. God dang it. No, hey. I can fuck with a girl who fuck with girls. Oh, I could. Guys, why not? Guys, of course not. They don't have a problem with that. I just the think, like, if your girl fuck with girls, you guys need to... It's, you know it's better if you establish... Drama. You know that, right? Say that again? still is a woman. I yeah. said, you know, you're bringing on double, triple, quadruple the drama because even though you, you think, you know, people might think, oh, this is cute and all. Look, I'm going to have all this extra attention and affection. But you are also still bringing a female up and around you. That's just added more drama because just because. No, she, the bitch is not here to stay. The bitch is here to serve her matter. purpose okay. and get the fuck out. And if y'all are friends, then that's fucked up on your end. I think still. Because I ain't friends with the bitches I fuck. That's what I say <laughs> as a joke or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying. A girl who fuck with girls can find a spot in most men's lives. So stop being dishonest and tell your man that you a dyke magnet because you a dyke. Oh, Lord. Bitches don't be telling the truth. I started to bring this girl on the show today, but I thought it was too aggressive. I, she's a female comic, and she um, admits she fucks with women. What was the, what was the problem with that? I just didn't want to bring on the show right away because I was like, "Hey, I want you to come on the show about the oh, shit I'm gonna talk about too tomorrow." Quick. Okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna bring Pepper I'm gonna bring it, her yeah. on because yeah, she always come to the shows with her little girlfriend. Oh, they both kind of petite. Met Lala at the kitchen. I think she's adorable and she's super sweet. Lala, which one is Lala? Lala is the short one. She's got the piercings in the face. What about it? She got a girlfriend. Yeah, of course they do. They we, we, they went to the Christmas party with all of us. They, she works at the kitchen. Super sweet. Super. What cool. Christmas party? Well, you didn't go. The bowling party for Annalisa's kitchen. But I'm just saying. Like, you, well, of course they. They went to the Christmas party. I'm no, like, what fucking Christmas party? Couple, <laughs> but I'm just saying, though, she's super good. I mean, come on. Just because she's gay doesn't mean she's going to be hitting on everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what it's do you mean? Like, it's like another couple. In other words, it's like another If you're couple. a girl who suck pussy, you have no vaginal control. You oh, will stop. suck pussy loosely. That doesn't go for everybody. That's like saying a dude. What? So you're saying it's faithful, it's faithful girls who suck pussy? I think most well, girls who are no, no faithful guys are out there. Gay niggas, gay niggas are not faithful. It ain't no so gay ain't man. No I only or... fuck with a gay man that I'm with. Really? We need so to have Aries to... back on the show. Oh God, dang it! Stop it! I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> bitch ass nigga. Anyway. I said it. I'll beat your ass, nigga. You know it. I'll see you. We'll see each other. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, most men who fuck with men are not able to be with only one man. I don't believe that anyway. It's a savage type of, of, Depends, of no. hunger I that I would think people who fuck with the same sex have. Oh, I think that's... You don't, don't think so? Because, no, I think that just with, goes with anybody. If so you know, you, if know, you know a dyke... If savages, period, whether they're straight, gay, what have you, then, then they're probably going to be running amok. But, but I don't think that so goes So you know a dyke just. couple that's just them two? Of course, I know a lot of them. Gay men. How you know a lot of dyke couples? Gay, gay men. Then it's time to come out the bag. Because Ain't nobody going to judge you. I they still going to like you. No, you are worried about being judged. <laughs> I have friends that are, I don't care if they're straight or gay or what have you. I've got plenty of friends that are just all types of 
human being. So I don't. I believe that. That's why. That's why I go. Why you have to be gay just to have a bunch of friends like that? You're no, 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 no. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. With all due respect. Yeah. And I've told you before. No, stop getting that. I'm get hoping that, you tell the truth that, one time. It is the truth. Get that <laughs> fantasy, your fantasy out of your head. You call it a fantasy, it whatever. because you keep bringing that up. Like, it's like, ooh. Have you it? ever? No, you've already asked that several times. But go ahead. Get it out Shit of it in a whopper box. Oh See? You don't know what the fuck I'm going to say. <laughs> God Actually, damn it. <laughs> I had to use some other meanings, but it wasn't a whopper box. Somebody says, Coco, your friend, D. Who is Coco? You're talking about my son's stepmom. Your we're, son's stepmom. Oh, Coco. Oh, he's yeah, all right. That's silly. We're oh, that ain't her friend, god no, damn it. Friends, well, they didn't, they didn't do it right. Oh, my. Here you go. That nigga Ice-T did not oh. introduce them in a way where they can be friends by telling the truth in the beginning. Oh, be quiet. No, no, no. But after the fact, I'm just saying some people get it when you're like, look, my kid has to be around you. So, of course, I'm going to be I'm gonna be cordial. You're cordial. Yeah. You're fair. Got to be because you don't want to be starting some drama up. You don't want to show know. insecurities in the situation. That has nothing to do. That's just one tiny tidbit. It's, the rest is I don't want to make it uncomfortable for the whole situation because your child has to be over there in their home. So, no. I'm going to start. Well, I'm not that good. I know you're not. <laughs> if my child is around a fuck nigga, well, I'm going to call him a fuck you nigga. That. That's different. And like my son, he did, I don't think dude is a fuck nigga. At all. My son is around a dude that is just a nice guy who don't know how to motherfucking put it down in the motherfucking house. I'll burn this motherfucker before you run me. (laughs) But that's when you say, we're going to have a, you know, compromise here. We're going to deal with this child. It's my son. Any super duper problems, I deal with it, not you. So can you do that? Well, of course, you better. If not, it's going to be pretty um, uncomfortable around there. It's not going to. It's not going to roll smooth. It's different with with, with different situations. Exactly. You can't just do it like that because. But it'd be nice if you try. Sometimes you got to still got to fuck your baby mama just oh, to make no. sure that See, your I presence knew, in the house is right. I'm just saying. I knew you had a twist. Some guys, you got to still be fucking your baby mama so the presence in the house is right. What you do sometimes, you back off because you see your baby mama. Is around somebody who's a good dude. So you back off. Mistake. Mistake, motherfucker. Don't listen. <laughs> Keep your dick in that pussy long as that pussy is available to you. Because you need to have an influence in her mind and in her house. It's, why does that sound ridiculous? Why does that sound ridiculous, D? Because that's just one aspect uh, on how to go about stuff like that when you have splits and you have homes and you have kids going other places. Uh, why wouldn't you want to try and make it smooth and move on? That, to me, shows insecurity on the person's part trying to hold on to that and still have sex with them. What's wrong with you? Look, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. All y'all niggas who got, go, baby, oh, who got a baby, who got a baby by a woman and she has a new man. It move is a on. mistake. To back off and let her have her relationship with the new man. I'm telling you from experience. I don't regret nothing I did. But if I could do it all over again. I wouldn't have never stopped fucking with my baby mama. Because I know I needed to influence the way my boy is brought up. Because he needs his father, who has the same type of ignorant ass characteristics as him around him to show him. Because my son. So you want to create more drama in that home. That's what it I is. I don't give a fuck. What's the cost? You can still be around him with I'm married. That. I no, was married. No, but I'm saying, what does that have to do? What does having to still sleep with his mom have to do with that? Because you when you are around. having sex with a woman, when you're having Crazy. sex with a woman, your influence is greater than when you're not having sex with a woman. And you might not think that, D, because you're a woman, yeah, well, and you don't want to admit what happens when men and women have sex. When men and women have sex, I'm not saying this is all the time. I'm saying a lot of times when men and women have sex, your influence in that woman's life is relevant. You have some relevance to her. But when you stop fucking with her because of whatever the reason may be 
oh, I'm going to let them have their little relationship or whatever. I don't want to interfere with this. I don't want to interfere with that. If you have a child by that woman, you are basically letting her be, letting that, letting that man and whatever she bringing raise your child. Mm. But if you are an alpha male, as long as you are still in her head and pussy, you can be there as you should to influence the upbringing of your seed because mm. your seed may not necessarily click well with the next man who may not be the type of nigga you are. Your seed needs you. That's what I'm saying. So why can't you just still be around? What do, I don't I'm not I'm not feeling that whole move. I think that just creates You a saw lot that more movie? Drama. You saw that movie? Um, taking, yeah, I'm, but, yeah, but it, it, it shows relevance to what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Just to make a point, okay. was it with Liam Neeson mm -hmm. taking the girl? Right. Because he wasn't fucking her no more. He was off in the army and all that shit. She got with a rich lame, and they grew up lame, <laughs> not knowing how real the world is. As he was telling them, you know, the world ain't no whatever. So she went out there and got snatched. I feel like my son got snatched because I wasn't there all the time. I'm just keeping it real. That don't mean I have any regret toward my baby mother's husband. I don't have regret toward him. In fact, I got love for him, to be quite honest. It's just I realized he wasn't fit to handle this shit like I would have handled it, which is basically my son might see me go to jail. For standing on what the fuck I got to stand on in that motherfucking house. Mm -hmm. If you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So this ain't no this ain't no diss to nobody. This is just a nigga telling all you young niggas who might be in your 30s like I was. You might be in your late 20s, early 30s and you got a baby by a woman. And you might leave it alone because, oh, she got a new man and I don't want to interfere with that shit. I'm telling you, if you do that, you allowing your son... To be raised like, how can I put it? Like the next nigga would raise him. <laughs> and your son might grow up and be bigger than that next nigga. <laughs> and be ready to beat the nigga ass. You never know what could happen. Because you wasn't there putting motherfucking work in. Because a lot of times if you ain't fucking the bitch no more, you ain't putting the same work in you used to put in. Now, I'm not saying it's men who don't put in work and don't still pick up their kids and try to be there. But you picking them up on a sucker side of the game situation. Yeah, but you don't think that maybe you're kind of... You don't think that maybe... Hey, I'm here to pick up my son. You don't think Get that maybe the fuck out of here. you're kind of making excuses um, because your son was influenced a lot by that man. It might sound like I'm making excuses. And I don't expect everybody to receive this message the way I meant it. Mm. I can say that. I don't need nobody to think that um, I'm motherfucking saying some shit that's... Bond. This is the way it worked with everybody. But I'm here to tell you, when you leave your son to be raised, when you leave your daughter to be raised by the next motherfucker... It might not work because some of these kids takes the characteristics of the parent that is absentee. And as you are absentee, the world will tell your seed something wrong with them. I know them motherfuckers told them motherfuckers. They told my seed something was wrong with him because he act like me. And you see what I'm doing. All my teachers that told me something was wrong with me, all the motherfuckers on them jobs who told me something was wrong with me, I ain't got to tell you. You're probably watching the show right now. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> and that's what I tell my son. Ain't nothing to fuck wrong with you. You a Corey Holcomb acting ass nigga. Mm. And the average motherfucker can't handle that. That's what the average motherfucker do. When they can't handle it, they say, oh, something wrong with it. That's why your seed needs you. Somebody said, Corey, that's a nice jacket. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Karab, whatever your name is. Somebody well, finally complimented my jacket. Oh, you know, they just be like. Somebody say, I look like a cup it. of lean. Maurice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Who said Maurice that the thing? Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck y'all, yeah, nigga. Stupid. But now, I'm um. saying, I'm saying, man. Somebody say, teachers told my mama that too. I'm telling you, when people can't understand you, 
they like the, the the easy way to fix it is to label you as something wrong with you. <laughs> Your kids all over the world are being told something wrong with them. But the truth is, it don't matter if something wrong with them. They act like you. I told my son, you could be a reflection of me, which ain't the greatest thing in the world. But I tell you what, I ain't no puss ass nigga, and I know how to grind out here. I know how to do what the fuck I gotta do. Mm-hmm. And he know how to motherfucking do shit. He's smart as hell. He, he, he it's just he motherfucking don't fit into what motherfuckers like to call school. I never fit in with that shit. I was a hooper. That's the only reason I went to school. I was on the basketball team. And that's I, the problem with a lot of parents too is that they with, if they don't recognize that, can't force that on a kid. You got to kind of cultivate what you see him what's happening with him. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you okay, got a kid like, that's out being destructive to other people or even himself, like a child that's out Beating up people, join gangs, selling drugs, all that shit. That's a whole nother challenge. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother challenge. That's some shit that really needs some major intervention. Right. But if you got a child that gets into trouble by goofing off, you got a child that gets into trouble by, you know, not having the motivation to get up and all that shit. That's why parents need to fuck with need to be you around. need to fuck with people you gonna be around mm-hmm. so that the missing link can get filled in. And I tell you this. From the jump, you shouldn't fuck with nobody. If you don't like their ways, they kid going to act like that. Thank you. Yes. yes. They child is going to act like that. Mm-hmm. And spend as much time as you can with your child if you're able to. I mean, I know that there's people that have those hard situations where they have, you know, stuff against them or... It's what do you mean stuff against them? You know, like legal stuff. There's that bullshit that some people put on them. It's all, it's but all complain, done. But then they complain that they don't have any help or that their kid was brought up a certain way. But then they... What they say? The, aqua- you know what the, the, some, the Aquarius push- space gave $50? Oh, nice. Wow. I, didn't, I missed that. I didn't even see his message. But I just want to say that shit you said, D, about being there for him and shit. This system is set up where it makes you not want to be there. It makes you not want to have... Especially the baby mama in your business because this system is set up where they give the baby mama a motherfucking offer she can't refuse. And baby. that's if you set him out to me, talking about the system, the mm-hmm. government, child protective services, or I mean child services, whatever. If you set him out to me, I'm going to give you his income. Where he will never be able to get on his feet. So you can get him back and take his money. But we'll act like the problem is he got to take care of his child. <laughs> well, they, they, they don't give a fuck about your child. They going to shoot your child in the street. Motherfucker tell you, fuck you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Damn, what is that? What that say? The handout? That's $100? Wow. Raising yeah. kings. Damn. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Keenan. Say it again. Keenan hath not. Hath not. Kenan Frank said, Keenan hath not. Shut your. <laughs> he said it like that. But thank you, brother. Uh, I want y'all. Let me tell y'all something, man. Pretty soon, I'm gonna tell everybody, man. Don't give to this super chat shit. They fucking rob people, man. I'm just keeping it real. We going I'm setting that shit up with I Star. Everybody who, who um. Everybody who subscribes to my iStar vids, go to iStar vids and just subscribe. It's only $2 a month. That's $24 a year. Everybody who subscribed to that, you help me out tremendously Mm -hmm. with um, putting together projects that I can make exclusive to all of my subscribers. Mm -hmm. I I put a lot of the 5150 shows on my iStar. Um, But, you know. I mainly want to do special videos and shit like that that um, only my subscribers can get to. So, I Star yeah, Vids. Thanks, Frank. He, he put it up. Yeah, I Star Vids. Y'all shut that motherfucker down last week. Do y'all know y'all shut the servers down? Somebody said they'd give $100 and they up. What? Last they week. <laughs> last week, you motherfuckers shut that I Star Vids server down. That motherfucker was like. <laughs> I thank you, 5150 Nation. Y'all shut that motherfucker. I told dude, I said, you don't understand. The nation is big. He was like, yeah, Corey will be ready. My man Jerome, who run the iStar thing, he cool. You know what I'm saying? But they wasn't ready for that. So we're going to see if they're ready for it this week. Because he said, I'm prepared this week, Corey. He's uh, got that 
that that that that Landon's voice. people. Who was that? I missed that. Somebody said they were Landon's oh, folks. Somebody said they were Landon's people. I appreciate all y'all, nice, man. Yeah. I appreciate all y'all. That I Star Vids is where I'm sending my people to because um, I want to try to get to fifty thousand subscribers. Um, I want to see how fast I can get to fifty thousand subscribers with I Star Vids. Mm -hmm. And um, it's the fifty one fifty Freedom Show. I mean, 5150 Freedom on iStar Vids, and uh, I appreciate y'all, man. Frank's, uh, what they say, Six put Fever? It up there, Frank's mm -hmm. put it up there. Uh -huh. um, I've been talking about, well, like, I, like I said, I've been talking about the motherfucking uh, the Let's dyke sleep. bitches oh, and man. being there for your kids. And like I said, because, you know, people watch this shit and they go show it to people I know. Mm. Hey, look what Corey said about y'all. Let me tell you something, oh, man. God. My. My son, mother is a is a is is a is a very incredible woman. I love her. I love my son's mother, cause she held me down in this motherfucking world, and she's the type of woman that holds motherfuckers down. And anybody around her know that. The only motherfucker who might not know it is my son, because he's spoiled little suburban boy. Mm. <laughs> he ain't from the motherfucking streets. But he'll learn because he going to be with me this summer. Have that motherfucker around me. Learn, learn, every learn what bit, it feel like. Every to, little bit helps. Maybe that's what he's doing. If you, if you, crawl, if you cross a nigga like me, I'm going to body punch you and then I'm going to hug you. <laughs> yeah. You ain't going to heal right away. Who is that? What? 99 so WS. Damn, it takes a while for my damn new contacts to adjust. You can't see, nigga. I got my new, you know what? I got my new contacts. I'm still adapting to them. I just if you say so, whatever makes you feel good. I, I want y'all to know, de-dressed, hip-hop like a motherfucker I'm going today. I'm to something afterwards. Where I'm you going after this? I'm going to go to a master class taught by Pop and Pete. Now, if anybody doesn't know anything about Pop and Pete, please Google him. He's amazing, so I'm going to go dance. I'll stand up. I got my leggings on and my sneakers so I can move better. <laughs> I cannot wait. Then you got on stretch pants. You ain't supposed to do that. What do you mean? That monkey was showing. No, it's not. It's, it's not showing, but I could see like a little camel print of the monkey. What? The monkey got a camel print. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I'm monkey. excited. I'm excited because it's going to be filled with a did lot of... Did you take of a bath? Of course I did. So the I monkey clean? Yeah, who asked that? Did you take a bath? Oh my God! But yeah, you gotta ask people if they take baths nowadays. Well, why would you want to? Frank, know you anything? took a bath. Yep. He said, "Yep." Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> Lawrence it, Williams, it, thank it, you. It'd be the different if you said, um, "When did you?" Did take you a bath? boil a monkey? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't say a shower. I, I said I did a bath. Take a shower. No, I don't take a lot of baths. I only take baths if I'm gonna soak in Epsom salt for my mother. That ain't good. You gotta start oh, stop. taking no, baths. No, not marinated Deep. all up in that. There you go. We already heard your take about baths, Corey. That's gross. Well, what's my take? I think you'd be marinating some some. What's field. my take? Oh. <laughs> That's what he gets. He was about to choke. See, God don't like ugly. <laughs> he was about to choke you. I was about to anyway, die. This no, place. I can't wait. I'm gonna go see Pop and Pete. What I say about Babs? You've said it before, is what I'm saying, isn't it? it? Was I and I told you then it was ridiculous. Let's Babs. go into it. Babs, I want the people to know. Babs are nice. They re can relax. You can even soak with some Epsom salt. All that. However, for to to wash yourself off continually in just a bath. I don't know. Dude, shower it down. Shower it off. To me, I'm just saying, you can go very well. I take a bath, then shower the shit off. Oh, well, see, then there you go. What a waste of water. And you know that we need water here in California. Fuck some water. I need my <laughs> ass clean. I guess you do, but then again. When I sit on the bed naked, I don't want to have to worry about a little motherfucker. You didn't get me, Spot. Well, how much scrub? Hey, nigga, here I go right here, nigga. But that's what I'm saying. You've got a fetish, I think, about your butt being so clean. Dude, you're, you're going to scrub it down too raw. No, it ain't necessarily your butt. Look, if you're going to be by yourself, alone, you ain't necessarily got to clean your ass no, good. You be but what I'm saying, if you are about to be around somebody else who might be in all kind of shit, you need a bath because when you take a bath, Here we go. it gives... The um, soot a chance to soak so it's easier to wipe off. If you shower, the soot be like, we ain't going nowhere, nigga. Well, I'm getting spray me, nigga. I, 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 I don't give a fuck, nigga. We still here. Have you ever heard of a loofah? You scrub the hell out of your skin and in those areas and the water rinses. You can't down. scrub in your ass. Yes, you can. Don't you, Bendo? You're what not kind of, show me this. Show me this loofah that go up in your ass. You put it 
it up there with in your hand. You scrub your booty. You put a loofah in your ass. And then you bend over and you let the water wash it all off and everything. Yeah, but to sit in your, your, your ass look like a catfish mouth if you put no. a loofah in your ass. You don't put it in it, Corey. Stop being so literal. Well, you there is it. shit stuck between. No, it's not. Who what is it called? Who has poop stuck on their butt? See, what is it called, D? The, the thing that's between your asshole and in there. The, the taint? taint? No. What is it, Nation? Canal? You talking about the canal? The Twizzler? The Twizzler! No, but... You have to make sure your Twizzler has been rotted out if you around Wait, somebody you because some they might be a no. Twizzler player with her. No, you have some kind of weird thing about a butt being that clean. And on top of that, it's the, the pussy, wall. when it's soaked, it has a better chance of getting rid of the gut, the gook, the mm -hmm. caulk. Whatever, all that shit that's up in there that you couldn't burp out. All right. It go to the pussy. Everything you can't burp out, go to the mm -hmm. pussy. Okay. So that's why you take baths when you're around somebody. But if you're an old, lonely, funky motherfucker, spray your ass off. Oh, God. Nah? Here he go. I'm just saying, there's a lot of people out there who agree with me. Sure. With their raw assholes. <laughs> 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 With their skinless <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Doodoo packed, exactly. Gunk. The cloak. All right, baby. Somebody say he right. See, they with me. Whatever. Neck bone juice. <laughs> Bed, bath, and beyond. Yeah. With soap. That's right. Sometimes you got to wash your, you got to have your whole asshole. Like, that's why I don't use bar soap. Unless... I trust that I person. Know, fuck, it ain't trust. Right. I, I could trust stuff. them and not use bar soap. If it's somebody I fuck with for real, I could share bar soap with them. But wait, you don't put but, the bar of soap there. You get the soap off the bar of soap, and then you use the. That's what the you wipe. do. Oh my god! Okay. I use all of the clingings <sighs> on my asshole to gather soap. So when I clean Twizzler, it's already soap there. It's little clingings on my ass. Like when I rub the soap across my ass. The clingings be like, I got that cord. Come on, we about to get up in I like this the motherfucker. Curve of this. I like hey boy, the curve them. Of this. <laughs> hey boy, that gyro you ate is fucked up tonight, boy. Yeah. I'm Cut. just saying. Just TMI. It's TMI. Yeah, I forgot my spot. I, anyway, <laughs> marinated <laughs> marinated monkey juice. That's a good name for it. Mm. Who's I forgot who said that. That's a good one though. Marinated monkey juice. You don't want to marinate it. Though, what so is it called? They call it truffle. Truffle butter. Truffle butter is that what it's called? Used, they used to call it the oh the stuff in the head of the like the of a, of a dick was the duck butter like the gooey, duck butter gooey, whatever that shit is when you shit. when you hoop in white drawers <laughs> whatever that shit is that's in your drawers after you hoop in them that shit that need to be clean if you live with a motherfucker day long, day or young day long goo day long goo <laughs> I like that dude. <laughs> I was gonna say goo. Day long goo. Day long We gonna keep that with fifty one fifty nation. That day long goo. Nicknamed the long goo. The, the day long goo. Somebody say shaft soot. <laughs> Twizzler butt. Dang it. Oh, the day long goo. The day long goo. We gonna spell it D A Y L O N G G O O U. The day long goo. And when you suspect that Smack about somebody, my listen. And when mustard. You say, if you, when you suspect it about somebody without them knowing you dissing them, you could say it in their name. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just like say, what? I'm only using them for reference. Like just, <sighs> just, just, just it, like let's just say Ice T. No, I was oh. gonna say Craig because he's not here. Craig Fags. What's his last name? Craig Smith. Okay, so Craig Dulongu Smith. <laughs> Craig Dulongu Smith. <laughs> So when you want to throw that at somebody without the What's knowing. that stuff? They're you like, know, he what? got he got neck meat back here. He what do you call that? Like, is it a name for the meat on the neck back there? Sausage. Hot. hot sausage. Uh, the, uh, well, we're, meat in Spanish is just carne. So if you say, damn. The thinking I'm folds. Big old chunk know. of carne in the back of the neck. Big old chunk of what? Carne. 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 Is, that's meat. That's yeah. meat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Spanish for meat? Carne, yeah. What time is the... It is 8.45. We're going to get into your I shit. I can't wait to dance later. Potty meat. I'm excited. Shav girt. Ew. Somebody, <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Y'all niggas good. looking down. Niggas dropping 50s in this oh bitch. Nigga, y'all motherfucker looking out in this bitch. Somebody say baby rolls. Two all beef patties. 
Damn, you got that motherfucking uh, Frank got that motherfucking on no, at the same he time. They're doing it because they when it when, Head G. when it's too many people respond at the same time, that's what makes it move faster. Ballpark Frank, that's what Frank doing right now with his sack. I wish I was King. At, well, who said that? Forrest Whitaker connect. Out of all those dancers and oh, I don't know. It's so you should have a good time over there at the thing where they dance. Yeah, and but shit. it's the last They're gonna be playing minute. that old that old school music, ain't it? Nobody, Girl, I want nobody your body. Everybody. Like he just did Chris you. Brown's Yay, the three. He times did Chris yay. Brown. Yeah. Who are some of the old school people? He did he teach Boogaloo Shrimp how to dance? They were on the same. What are you talking about? Same crew. Boogaloo Shrimp. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Electric. So I seen him. Was he in that movie Breaking? Uh, or breaking too? Popping Pete was in everything. I know breaking was in. Is he the light skinned nigga? No, he's dark. When old girl was singing, I believe in no, the beat. Pop, and listen, that nigga was Pop up there. I believe in the way I Pop feel. Pop did Thriller and he did Beat It. It's major. He was in there? In there and you choreographed it. Yeah. W- which one is Popping Pete? I'll show you a picture of him. He's amazing. Oh We're going to look at this picture That's of so Popping Pete. Oh my God. He probably was in Breaking too. They had everybody in that motherfucker. Oh, of course. Come on. Did he choreograph that, that, that combat battle? Combat. <laughs> combat. Oh, Guess who else is going to be Call there? Combat. He, you know, he's an old. Uh, who? Mark. Mark's a beaut. <laughs> who is Mark? Mark Jackson. Mark? Oh, yeah. the, the homie Mark? <laughs> yeah. Mark is it? He in what video? No, no. He's going to go to the workshop tonight. Oh. Pete. That's his invite. Where's Poppin' and Pete? That's him. Is that old boy who was battling? Was he battling and breaking? Mm. He the black dude had on the thing, and old girl went under him, and he was like, "That's all, yeah." I did. You should go. That the black nigga off breaking who who was in the battle who had the. Yeah, I might go. Shit, I want to meet Pop and Pete. Yes, he's legend. Let him know he did a good job. He had the pink gums. He had the the gums with the lip. Pink Chaliso on it right there, everything. goddamn. Shrimp, right. everybody followed him. What up, Pop and Pete? I know who you is. Yeah, he started. <laughs> he started Pop. Like it's the tall the nigga who was on breaking. And Turbo went under his leg and shit. And he was like, I got you, motherfucker. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I say, LOL, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Corey looked like a suede pillow, goddamn it. Go ahead yeah, on. You, <laughs> get it, Corey. Let Your me. mama sit on pickle jars, nigga. Uh oh, uh oh. I can signify a little bit, ain't eh? Peep the wave, dude. Yeah, he did all kinds of stuff. But anyway, yeah. I'm excited. This is all old. Jonathan stuff, Brooks, yeah. Daddy Dollars, thank you, bro. Just yeah. subscribed on iStar 5150 Nation. I appreciate y'all. Let me tell y'all something, man. This iStar shit, they got the shit where we can chat just like on Twitter if you do it on your phone. Oh, nice. So we gonna, I'm finna start chatting on iStar because I miss, I ain't gonna lie, I miss talking shit on Twitter, but I can't be... I, you can't fucking shut me the fuck up. So do you know all the? De- <laughs> You're funny. So you do you know all the details? Like if they subscribe, are they able to chat with you then too? Is that included in there? No. If you if you if you if you um on iStar, you should be able to talk shit on the little pad. Mm. But if not, just subscribe. Two dollars a month. I can't get twenty four dollars about you for the year. That all this shit I be talking. <laughs> I can't get twenty four dollars about you, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't never even ask for money. The reason I want you to subscribe is because I'm trying to be the one with the highest subscriptions on this motherfucker. Because I, I'm a, man, y'all know this TV show long overdue. Mm-hmm. I'm not on no motherfucking Sirius XM. No, Godfrey will be here next week, by the way. I'm not on no Sirius XM. And church too. You going to start your church? Right. Oh, I'm finna start 5150 okay. Church. Fifty one fifty Church. I, I'm, I'm wondering. I want y'all to tell me something. Should I do it Saturday nights? Or Sunday mornings. I don't want to be a, here, so you'd have to do it on the road. It's okay. I could do it on the road. Nice. But I want to. I actually want to do it in a church. It might be pre-recorded, like all these other niggas do. Mm. It might be pre-recorded, but that's what's going to be an exclusive on iStar, the fifty-one fifty church. Mm. Fifty-one fifty church. What all this shit. To get saved. Hmm. We're gonna we gonna come up with all that shit okay, every week. God damn it. Hmm. I need a I need a I need one of them church keyboard the playing motherfuckers. <laughs> you know how them fat bitches they be so damn tired, but oh they God, shout, they be like, Fee got life, my feet got life, my feet got life. All right, all right. The sissy be playing the mm. organ. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Oh my god. Oh, Godfrey's coming on next week. Nice. Godfrey will be here next listen, week. Listen, Godfrey done Jamar. <laughs> I listened to his um, a Sirius XM show, so yeah. Like you like it? Yeah. Well, that puts you on the spot. You can't really what say it. What do you mean? I spoke about it before. Yeah, I do. 
Godfrey, oh, yeah. Godfrey got energy. Godfrey is. Oh my goodness! Yes. Godfrey is a dude who never let himself fall off. You know who? Never, you know whoever who else never let himself fall off. I, I went to his page on Facebook because I be on Facebook now, looking oh, that's around. Right? Yeah, because you hit yeah. DJ from Chicago, Soul of Beauty. Thank you. Appreciate oh, the wow. game and laugh nice. to fifty one fifty. Thank you. Thank you. DJ Little Lewis. Who is this that? motherfucker. Comedian? Chicago know who this is? Okay. Lil Lewis. How's DJ? French Kiss. <laughs> song took the nation. Motherfucker got rich off that oh. song. Lil Lewis. I ain't finna say his age. Little. He's I ain't little. finna say his age. <laughs> Lil Lewis is a fucking monster. Working out? Okay. This motherfucker ain't. And fuck it. I. I Y'all know, Chattown know how old Lil Lewis is. Lil Lewis is a monster. If somebody could get in touch with Lil Lewis, tell him I'm looking for him. I changed that number. I ain't got that number no more, Lil Lewis. Holla at me, nigga. Find a way to get in touch with me. You always find a way to get up with me. Get up with me, my nigga. Lil Lewis. I remember, I remember Lil Lewis was with me. Uh, he met up with me in Atlanta. Mm. And a couple of my homeboys, this is the last time I saw one of my homeboys alive. He was like, Lil Lewis, because yeah. <laughs> you know all the all the house heads man. know who the fuck Lil Lewis yeah. is. Lil Lewis, where you at, man? Now he's one of those. Somebody guys. say Lil Lewis must be about sixty. Hey, I ain't gonna say shit, but on his page he got a picture working out. Man, this motherfucker is a monster to be that old mm -hmm. and to be he ain't no. Somebody, somebody say sixty five. <laughs> I don't know Maybe how old he is. Know. I don't know how old he is. He was older than you. Yeah, he was older than okay, me. Okay, yeah. He could. But it ain't about, I don't know, I'm just saying. I don't know I don't know how old Lil Lewis is, but uh, Lil Lewis is a monster in that weight room, boy. And he and you will never be able to tell because he hide it good. Wait a second. He I one of them motherfuckers that know how to dress it away where he be, where shit is too big. But I got a question. But you, he hide it. I'll be like, man, motherfucker, go fuck so, up. So he was one of those real little Lewises. Because you know how sometimes people get a nickname for being the opposite. So he's not little Lewis, but he was a big guy. No, he's little he Lewis. Really he was he's a little guy. Yeah, he's a little oh, guy. Oh, okay. Because you know, sometimes you'll be like, oh, here come little so-and-so. And they come in and they're like a big Lil guy. Lil Lewis had the heart of a lion. Oh. Motherfucker got into a fight with the police when they was fucking with his dad. Wow. Motherfucker don't know Lil Lewis' story. I got love for you, Lil Lewis. Okay. Nigga bought my head shots back when I was a uh, young comic. Aww, he saw me. So and he saw me in Atlanta, and he was like, man, you was good. I was like, I'm from Chicago, nigga. You Lil Lewis. That nigga was like, you from Chicago? I was like, nigga, what? Oh, he looked out for you like that. When I went to New York, That's so uh, sweet. you know, a lot of times when you go to New York, like I said, I used to sleep in the train station in New York. Mm -hmm. Lil Lewis had a house over in Jersey City. He let me stay there. Wow. When I was That's in big. New York. That's I love you, nigga. Wow, I that's love crazy. you, little nigga. Get in touch with me, little Lord. Little hard working out ass nigga. I still beat your ass though, little oh, Lord. Stop. Little Lord. You know what? He always DJ without his shirt on. Oh. He one of them motherfuckers. Mm. <laughs> little Lord, you know you're a little weirdo nigga too. Oh. Uh, but that nigga, he, but when he have his Look. shirt off, <laughs> you know how them niggas be having them six packs? Well. I always wanted a six pack. I'm gonna get surgery for a six oh, pack. Oh, <laughs> cut it! Out. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a twelve pack Frank surgery. Frank Contreras, what's up? That's right, the insane poppers. Corey Hamburglar Hoko. Damn, he went way back. He's somebody from say Mahomes. Corey Gay on the low. Fuck y'all, nigga. Little nigga. Yeah, that's somebody silly. say Lil Lewis a legend. J W. They know. Mm. Lil Lewis, motherfucker. Dog. House music. That's the oh, Godfather yeah. of house music. Oh yeah, come on. You gotta be able to dance to some house music. Come Man, on. we was coming up, dog. Them motherfucking house parties was the, the oh, shit. Oh. Jam packed. Even the gangbangers be at the party. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what up, bro? What up, Throwing up forks while they dancing and shit. I can't <laughs> oh, Anyway. Stupid. <laughs> so, we gonna go on here and get to this part of the show. And uh, it's part of the show that we ain't done by ourselves in a while, dude. We ain't got no other influence. I love it. Try not to read so much and say the shit. Listen, oh, be quiet. <laughs> no, because I don't want to mess up on any kind of details. Okay, so just let's get right into Lonely it. Lonely so people. Everybody talking about the boycott of Gucci, okay? Well, it's well into high gear, but the bigger story seems to be now 
in the media is who's down with the boycott and who's not. So when, when somebody, it all started when somebody posted the item that a woman's uh, balaclava jumper, which is a sweater, and it covers the face. I thought that was a cake at a Greek, Greek restaurant. No, that's what my favorite jazz scene Look at that was. shit. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, um, so it started when they posted that, uh, that they saw this online for sale, a, a balaclava jumper with a pull-up long neck that covers the mouth and nose area. Unlike other ski-type face warmers and masks, it has the mouth outline, though, in red, resembling blackface. It sold for $890. So although Gucci immediately posted an apology and removed it, um, what was left online and in the stores, but now the attention is just so far gone. In the media, now they are focusing on who's down with the boycott. And as of recent, the ones that stand out, the two that are really garnering some attention on this subject is your boy Floyd Mayweather. Uh, who, was at, who was seen actually leaving the Beverly Hills Gucci store today and was asked about what he thought. He said, and I'm quoting, I'm not just right, this is, that's why I got to read it because I'm verbatim. I'm not a follower. I do what the fuck I want to do. You know when, and, and I'm reading exactly what, you know, he said. You know when everybody say they going to boycott, I say, guess what? This boy going to get on ya, get on a boat and live life. Adding, we all, he added this, we all know racism still exists. But that's not going to stop my drive. I've got friends from all walks of life. And to me, of course, black lives matter first. But my thing is this. I'm going to continue to go out there, live life, and be happy. One more person who's gar getting a lot of uh, negative attention. on. What do you think thing. about that, what he said? Uh, <laughs> it kind of blows my mind. But you know, I think that's the way somebody just, says, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do, of regardless of whatever. But, you know... I got you know I got mad love for Floyd Mayweather. True, but how can you say both in the same sentence? Like you're gonna you're you're gonna live life and do this, but then of course Black Lives Matter. But that, that, I mean, but but it's kind of like I mean it, when he say that, I'm sure he means it. Of course Black Lives Matter, but that nigga got that paper and he gonna fuck it off how he wanna fuck it off. Cause ain't nothing in the Gucci store but fucked off money. But you're still I have to I have people. a bag I have two bags at the Gucci store in the Caesar's Palace. Them motherfuckers ain't even called me about my bags. I dropped the bag off money. about a month ago. No, because the bag was falling apart. Oh, see, First of all, I don't really see. buy Gucci no more because it's inferior shit. Right. Louis Vuitton don't put their shit on sale for a reason. Because if you buy a Louis Vuitton bag and the handle or something break or the stitching come loose, right back in the, yeah. them motherfuckers give you a whole new motherfucking bag, the latest one. So if you're going to fuck money off on sucker shit, I prefer Louis. I got a Gucci bag that's motherfucking. When you see the motherfucker, motherfuckers be like, damn, this motherfucker got that big ass. I got that big Gucci duffel, red. Mm. Them motherfuckers didn't even call me about my bag. Then I hear this Hilarious. shit. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> am I even finna oh, go I get my bag? Gonna, yeah, they're probably going to want to give you some new stuff. So here we go. So the next person. Fuck Gucci, but Floyd, you you know my nigga. Look, I know how you feel, nigga. You, you the motherfucking beat a lot of odds. You motherfucking, you, I know, my nigga, I know, but fuck Gucci right now. I and mean, then, all the shit we got already, fuck that, we ain't finna throw it away. I might sell my Gucci bags, but Floyd, fuck Gucci, man, let's go to the other store. And let's, then, I be buying that shit. you not gonna burn that stuff like me, you burn the It's this shit so called ahead. Chrome Hearts. A lot of Asians buy Chrome Heart. I got a Chrome Heart bag. Armenians do too in Glendale. You'll see them wearing it all over the mall, yeah. No, none of my niggas know what it is. It was one nigga walked up to me and said, is that a, is, is that, that bag? I, said, I was so happy somebody knew what the bag was. How much do you think the bag cost, D? Mm -hmm. Six grand. Uh, no, I mean, don't tell me. I'm a minute. There's a bag guy. called that six grand. want to throw up. Right. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't, I, 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 Ugh. I'm going to tell you something about Gucci, man. I Gucci be not. selling inferior shit. I'm here to tell you. All right. Well, let me move on. Can I say the next person? So I don't want to just I don't want to extend too much time unless you want me to. Go ahead. No, okay. well, we finna run with this shit. Okay, no, because then there's another person that's getting your, a lot of do flack. Your thing. Okay, so then there's Kodak Black. Then he says he has absolutely no plans on boycotting Gucci. He said, "See my little Gucci clothes that I bought. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna. I'm black, right? I'm a thug to the bone, right? And I fuck with white people, right? But sometimes black people do be reaching for like no reason. Them people ain't do nothing. Them people ain't say nothing about no racist shit." Them people just had a little ski mask. There's all kinds of ski masks in the world. This is his words. He ended it by saying, 
uh, how about y'all go, go shoot up the KKK then? And let's not forget, though, also, that last year at the end of the year, not to forget that back in December, Prada also quickly removed a keychain um, purse line that came with their new bags. It had a mini monkey keychain attached to it. Spike Lee says that he will no longer wear both brands and that they need to hire some black designers because they don't have a clue when it comes to racist blackface imagining. I think they do. It's just they that bold. Like just say, F it. Let's see what people say. That's These it. niggas about it. That's how they feel. Oh, Kodak man. Black. Look, I wish that young brother the best because he young, ain't he? Very young, yeah. That brother needs some help with his self-confidence because when he was on Vlad TV, he was on there. I'm black at foot. Talking about he want a baby with a woman that's not dark. Oh, that's the guy. I'm I black and full. Oh. I can't have, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah. poor brother. He fucked yeah. up in the head. Mm. He fucked up in the head. So I ain't finna sit up here and talk shit about the nigga like, I know a lot of people like him. And I'll just be like, damn, really? You know what like I'm him as in the person? Hate as themselves. In, as in interviews or just the music? They had some shit on the internet, D, about these NFL players, mm. all of them had white wives. All of them had white wives. Now, let me tell you something. When you got an NFL that's full of black men, mm. but so many of them have white wives, it's something the fuck wrong with but that. that's like the world, really. If you look at that's entertainment. I think it's when people get money, though. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. It is. When people get money, they think they're supposed to do something different. <laughs> Or in their mind, would they if they dare not say it? I got access now better? to something that wouldn't have been interested in you me think if I was broke. They think the white bitch better than the black bitch? Mm. They all bitches, homie. You should get somebody who look like your mama. I say that about white people. I say that about black people. But if they don't look like your mama, it better be a bitch with a lot of character and a good heart. If you see me with somebody that's not black, it's because this bitch right here showed herself to be outstanding. Not showed herself to be. Yes, you say, you mean, yeah. No, I get it, I get it. So that's that with Brent that. Brent Knight, see, thank you, brother. Let's see how far that all this goes and what it takes and what happens to them fellas. But I mean, you know. Mm, Kodak Black had on Louis Vuitton coat, though, right in that picture. <laughs> he had a Louis Vuitton coat and he had on, um, I think it was, what was it, like a, a Versace underwear. He had a whole mix of. of that's of young, that's young with money. That's young with money, anyway. Well, all the best. Oh, speaking of young. And money. An update on 21 Savage. Uh, he was able to post bond finally, but he won't get released until tomorrow morning, Wednesday. Uh, he will be out while he awaits the deportation case. Although he was granted an expedited hearing, don't forget that they did um, keep him locked up for an expended, uh, extended period of time, which his lawyer said that they shouldn't have done. And they still haven't found out why they were able to or held him for nine days. You know, they were arrested him on Super Bowl Sunday. And they, um, said, they said when he was in jail, he wasn't talking like he'd be talking regularly. They said when he was in jail, he should be like, why do you have me here? Oh, it all came out. <laughs> you shut up. He sounded like How they Genevieve. talk over there in Europe. He sounded like Genevieve. Call Genevieve. She'll tell you I'm an outstanding <laughs> citizen. <laughs> Call Genevieve and Frank. You're <laughs> now, anyway. I hope they fix that shit, Kodak yeah. Black, but these motherfuckers kicking niggas out the country. Oh, let me tell you. They hey. kicking niggas out the country, my nigga. Mm. Be careful out here, yeah, my nigga. So Somebody happens. called him 21 Cabbage. That's silly. <laughs> there he is. He's, he's like a nice kid, though. Somebody say Corey's smacking all in the mic. Oh, is he? Oh, he got the. <laughs> that wasn't for you, faggot niggas, either. Oh, oh my God. Okay, Do it again, so, uh, Corey. As we know, the 61st Grammy Awards were held right here in Los Angeles this past Sunday, hosted by, yes, Alicia Keys, who, of course, did the damn thing. She did an excellent job, as well as a phenomenal performance. If you guys didn't see the performance, Google that. Um, she, she smashed it. She was doing, she did a mega medley of just all kinds of songs from different artists, um, different um, eras as well, and she was playing two pianos at the same time. Did she? She's right in the middle of it with her legs open like that. Like you remember, bullshit. You, got, it was you a, trying to show me that monkey on oh, purpose, shut dude. Your God dang it. Yes. Okay, anyway. Hey, what's the rapper no, name feel, who got the thing tonight? Okay. Poppin' Pete? Poppin' Pete. Poppin' Pete, you gonna get that monkey oh, tonight, shut boy. Up. Oh, was in that, you got dressed up for Poppin' Pete on the hip hop this, side. This is what, this she gonna be like, I was with Ice T then, but what's up now? <laughs> I get so stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, there's, there's all sorts of dancers that I look up to there. So anyway, uh, uh, real quick, uh, update in the news. As if you didn't hear by now, you must have been under the rock, but Joaquin Guzman, also known as El Chapo, was found guilty on all counts um, engaging in an illegal enterprise, conspiracy to launder narcotics, proceeds, uh, the international distribution of cocaine and heroin and marijuana, um, uh, also the use of firearms. And if you look at, um, if you look at the moment that he was read the guilty verdict, he looked a bit shocked and they only have drawings of it though, but they probably, somebody's going to probably have to show it later, but they, they only had a drawing of it. He looked shocked and then he gave two thumbs up to his wife. <laughs> She gave him back one. She looked sad, but he was like, mm, mm. <laughs> you know, he, he laughing. He like this is all for the, this so, all for the media. I'll be home tomorrow. The sentencing will happen on June 25th, and will most likely face life in prison without parole. The anonymous jurors were seven women, five men. <laughs> in Mexico? No, here in New York. And he oh, he got tried. The fuck, you get yeah. tried in. They, they, they how you get tried in America and you fucking in Mexico doing shit? Yeah. And what the, the fuck kind of shit that, is that? The whole movie was about if you look at the documentary that was what they were trying to do when they got him over here fuck sean penn to that actor and the trial lasted three months he'll be in federal prison and remember now i don't know if you guys know about that of course people know, should know by now i don't care how old you are federal prison is definitely different from uh state prisons you know like how bill cosby is in a state prison because he did that kind of crime a federal prison that's almost like you know like a like a luxury type of uh being held up because they don't have certain things like you know, nice. You they know, put room. Bill Cosby in the nigga prison. They <laughs> told him, "Just roll over, and we'll put you in there with well, the feds." Well, because federal crime is they they have the federal prison for it. You serve. What is a time. federal crime versus a, versus? Because you know. they didn't commit. It's not like they, they didn't murder people. They might have took money. It's like a lot of politics. Bill Cosby didn't murder nobody. That's true too. He fucked think, bust no, down no, hole. <laughs> but I think it fell under a cat certain category. But no, a if, federal. Uh, if the crime uh, it crosses state lines, it becomes. Federal. If so the crime was, crosses state line, it becomes country. federal. That's right. what that's so what Frank said. In federal, in the federal prison, they're mostly white collar criminals, like politicians. What is a white collar criminal? Money, hedge fund people, stuff like that. When they, when they, I don't steal, understand when they, that when shit. When they steal money from, I don't money. understand that shit. When I stole money from, uh, for when I, when I. <laughs> When I stole shit from motherfucking the grocery stores and sold it, they tried. They put me in the motherfucking regular jail. Regular jail with all them motherfucking nickels. Well, he's been in regular jail, but now when he gets sentenced, he'll go there. So anyway, uh, in other legal battles, wow, I guess some good news. Um, what is anyway? Because he got out. Looks like Mystical, recent. This is today was able to get a three three million dollars together to bond himself out of the Louisiana prison that he's been locked up in for the last eighteen months. He was locked up on first-degree rape and second-degree kidnapping charges. But Danger! Pending his trial, which is set to start in May, his lawyer told the media that the funds came from an advance for a new recording deal and also other funds. Boy, those guys are going to own him for Mystico. life. Mystico. Hey, boy, get your ass out of jail. I met Mystico on the, on, on, uh, at, at the airport, him and uh, Beach by the Pound, mm. and they seem like good people. What we do out here sometimes, we fuck up, my nigga. You can't no. fuck up no more, mystical. No. Get your ass back in the motherfucking studio. Yeah. Motherfucking produce and write oh, on top of rap. Him on. He's got a real dick in jail. Gosh, no, he's not in jail. Anyway, he was They rubbed his dick in the Stop. hospital? Could you Are please? you okay? You okay? Anyway, remember, if you don't recall, he was hey, a, he, he said he was attacked, but they haven't found it. Anyway, well, well, he's had to go on the defense lately since there's some not, there were some non-believers. When you gay, you always on the well, defense. <laughs> since since a supposed, <laughs> some supposed news was leaking by some authorities in Chicago claiming that because of a delay in getting his phone records back to the Chicago PD for the investigation, it gave them some suspicions, but they put that out to the public, and now the public was coming back like, hmm. We offline, Frank? Yeah, something, the computer glitched up, and it shut all the windows. Oh, no, that's terrible. But is it still recording? Uh, it should still be recording. Okay, good. Uh, it so should still be recording. Okay, good. Anyway, however, uh, Smollett's team has said that the phone records were redacted. And that's what it took so long before they were handed over to the police. So, yes, they did hesitate to give them to the Chicago PD, but only to redact them. And you know what redacting is? You know that's when you, a bitch get her hair glued on under the um, <laughs> braid under there. Bitch got your hair redacted. 
No, it's oh, when no. you it's when you're going to hand something over to somebody and instead of shredding it but you still need to give them that paper it redacting is that when you see all those black lines oh, like it's burnt out so that you yeah. can't see for security reasons. So they were saying that they had to redact the um records, phone records before they handed it to the Chicago PD uh because to protect the privacy, now here's interesting, to protect the privacy of personal contacts of his and other high profile individuals that were not relevant to his attack. You mean like Alex Thomas? Shush up. Anyway, his, hey, ma- his manager says that Jesse was <laughs> actually, the story is that Jesse was actually on the phone talking to his client when he could hear him getting attacked. Um, also, so he says Jesse was not any. This dude beat my ass. The manager actually said that Jesse was very reluctant to call the police initially because of the attention he knew he would generate as a public figure. The Chicago PD now says that it's making major progress in the investigation and that they have no reason to think that he's not being genuine with this. Although, like I said, someone in the department leaked that uh, information out about the insufficient phone records that were up. See, so they started some trouble, but... Well, don't nobody, don't no real motherfuckers believe shit the police got to say any motherfucking way. Motherfucker, if you got jumped on out there, goddammit, that means you got to motherfucking be careful who you fucking with, because don't no motherfuckers randomly do that shit. So you're telling me some motherfucker who saw you randomly did that poe ass shit, knowing all the cameras out there? That's got to be a straight up Pill popping cokehead motherfucker who don't give a fuck about going to jail because they gonna have a record of who the fuck did it. Yeah. So what the fuck is the problem? Why the fuck they don't know who did it, motherfucker? If I rob a motherfucker bank, they gonna have a record of me going all the way home, sitting down. <laughs> so, yeah. Motherfucker, who the fuck did it? Well, let's see. They might come out with some new information. You know, a lot of times they can't express all that stuff on the news because then whoever committed it might. So they can't give too much out. When if I best- find out Kanye fucked you up like that, boy. You know. <laughs> why you ain't get my chain back, bitch? <laughs> anyway. Oh, back to the Grammy. So I know that the Grammy. Alicia, like I said, you please. Mariah you got, bought me that you gotta chain. got to check it out. Um, congrats, I guess. Congrats. No, congrats to Cardi B for the best rap album, Invasion of Privacy. Uh, also, she was the first female to receive that, even though, now listen, Cardi clapped back on her IG right after when she was started to receive lots of flack from folks voicing Yeah, because the bitch didn't write the motherfucking album. You they, believe the album of the year. they believe she didn't deserve it. She ended up deleting her IG account shortly after historic win. Uh, you can see her response online, though I do she love... She deleted it. her Instagram account? Yeah. <laughs> that means I, she crazy. That bitch can't take it on somebody. I do love that girl for speaking her mind, though. She doesn't if hold people, back. If, if people sure. don't kiss her ass, then she can't take it. I know a lot of crazy bitches like I that. Gotta, I kind of dig it. Bitch, you know you ain't write them raps. The motherfucking uh, pussy-ass niggas who wrote that shit should be getting the motherfucking album of the year. They don't get bitches album of the year. This is a high Hype job. You a hype job, bitch. But you can still get it because of your status. Congrats to Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino, for winning best song, best video, best record, and best rap song performance for This Is America. You think he gay? Um, No. Uh Uh-uh. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think Niggas don't sing like that. Streetlight. I don't know. You like, I don't know. this nigga and... He like I don't know. I don't care about that. Ain't no motherfucking man singing like that. Get that gay ass shit out of here. Uh, congrats to Kendrick. Childish oh. dick in yo. Uh, con- <laughs> con- congrats <laughs> to Kendrick for best rap performance on King's Dead. Although most were very upset that he was the most nominated, but he came up short and only won the one. He only won one. As mm-hmm. long as he won a Grammy, my nigga. You know how they do us, motherfucker. We out here in these motherfucking streets, and it's real with us, my nigga. Kendrick also, Lamar, also- keep doing your thing. Baby, thanks for that. If these walls could talk video, video opportunity, I love did you, boy. Do your thing in that core, you did. Um, both uh, Donald Glover and Kendrick both um, were offered slots to perform, but turned the Grammys down. Uh, they word on the street was that they're actually they did it on purpose that they did not even want to attend the Grammys, and they didn't. He didn't. Donald and uh, Kendrick didn't, and Jay Z didn't. And then Kendrick people, Lamar didn't attend the Grammys? No. Well, and, Jay, and Jay-Z didn't either, but people thought they did because they saw photos of him and Beyonce, but they attended all the parties for the Grammys, but didn't go to the awards. Yeah, they was out there getting them hoed. Uh, congrats to Drake for best rap song, God's Plan. Did, also, they, did they cut his mic off? Is that true? At the end. At the end, of the, uh, at the end of his speech because he started to say that you don't need this. You don't need um, awards. These awards, this Grammy award to say that you're, you know. So the they shit cut his ever. mic off while at he was talking. End, yeah. Have they ever cut the mic off somebody before? I don't know. I don't recall. But he was talking yes. about you don't need a Grammy <laughs> to be all that. And just for information, the video about God's plan, oh, my God. It's, it's had, 
Somebody it's, called Koyish you know Gambino. I don't know if you know the, um, that when he filmed, when Drake filmed um, God's Plan in Miami, he shelled out over a million dollars to that area to the needy recipients uh, um, throughout the Miami area. He gave it to schools that they filmed in. They paid the homeless shelters, a grocery store, and also to a couple of struggling students to pay their tuition. The video for God's Plan has had over 100, 875 million views on YouTube when last looked. You bullshit. No. Y'all getting that paper. All y'all motherfuckers, man. First of all, congratulations, even though I know some of y'all niggas got um, your shit pushed in. Uh, but I'm just saying... Black man, congratulations. Let's figure out a way to motherfucking get off from up under these motherfucking devil motherfucker. Thanks for that dollar ninety nine, Tiffany Mays. Yeah. Can't access your videos on iStar. Um, that must be, um, they said something about people who use Androids or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, they're having some kind of, there's right, Frank, there's some kind of uh, problem right now that they're bug that they're going to fix. Yeah. It's a bug they have to fix with the Androids, but I promise you, we're going to get this shit up and running, and I'm going to put videos on iStar that I don't put anywhere else. Mm -hmm. I don't put anywhere else because um, I'll put it like this. What YouTube does is highway robbery, dog. Mm. Like, all y'all looking out for me in the super chat, man, them motherfuckers chop that money the fuck up and give me what's left. But I appreciate it. All y'all motherfucking fans, man. Y'all motherfuckers. 5150 is real. Because I'm a stand-up comedian, I know it. I see y'all out there in the streets. And motherfuckers be having, motherfuckers be having crispy new yo bitch crib chilling out shirts. Oh, well, the white ones. The white this dude oh, had on a new a crispy one. I was like, what he the fuck? How you condition. get that motherfucker looking like that? That's that's that cold wash, hang dry, iron inside. Felicia out. Williams, I'll be in Philly soon. Mm -hmm. I'll be in Philly soon. I saw that. Anyway. But speaking of people that wear a lot of the. Uh, and support the show and wear a lot of uh, the merch. Um, the the folks from Zurich that we've spoke about before, the brothers. It's uh, that's all, all people who be giving us soaps and shit. Yes, it's all black owned, all organic. Everything they make is phenomenal. First by of the all, way. let's get them. What's their website so people can go there? Zurich.com and it's Hi, yeah. Z, Z U R E S H. And I don't. You know what? What is his first name? I'm trying to think of his first name. That's how you go. You go to Zurich.com. Zurich. Spell Zurich. it one more time. Z u r e s h. My man got this hairspray mist. You know, like so, like if you got hair, and you know what I'm saying, like I'm the type of person I don't like having no stanky sour head. Mm. He got this mist I spray in my hair, so I don't have to literally wash it every day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, almost I, like a dry shampoo, which would yeah. somebody, yeah. I done start mm -hmm. trying to work out and get myself together again. And, uh, like, when you work out, you get sweaty. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. They got some good shit. They soap is the slipperiest soap i ever seen in my life. <laughs> I love the smell. The smell, that Every shit. Every single thing of there smells I'm so I'm like, wow, good. This, this is some different shit. Hey, mm, y'all mm. fuck with them people, man. Look, they uh, be sending us shit. Yeah, and he wears, look, look, everything. And, oh. He's that's the brother very handsome look at him. yeah look but he's always look they're I didn't very mean supportive. handsome I mean I did right. I'm sorry I did but look when I said look at him I'm just saying hey man look now nah, it's different the I got a I, I got a yo bitch crib chilling out shirt I could see him with my eyes thank you brother that that shit that shit is dope where's he where's he based out of D oh god you got me on there I don't want to if say you the smash him FaceTime me while y'all together shush up I think he's married but if hey, he isn't oh my, oh, bad. my god he hey is brother He's Good looking handsome. out, man, with all the products, all the shit I ever used, the beard shit. He got some shit yes. that you rub in your beard so yes. it uh, condition yeah. it, help it yeah. grow, had that sheen to it. Much respect, brother. I'm using right here the travel size of the full body cleanser, Irie. And then they have the triple shade, but oh, it's just incredible. Anyway, they got I good can... shit to get up in the Twizzler, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what Maybe. I mean? <laughs> yes. They got Twizzler Cleaner. And they sell wholesale stuff, too, so please go on their website. Can we, can we make that product and call it Twizzler Cleaner by Corey Holcomb? There we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Get are with they, me, man. Are they based out of Chicago? They might, be, they might be out of Chicago. Uh, but they travel and they do a lot of things. They have a... a I'll be in Chicago for Savior's Day this weekend. So, we got to find a way to hook up. My ovary massager. What? What? What the fuck uh -oh. is that? <laughs> oh, somebody saying something funny. Stuff. Yeah, oh, I think it's go. stupid. Mr. Ovary Massager. That's his what? name. Oh, that's his name? That's clever, nigga. Oh. 
Anyway, you got it all in? Yes, sir. We finna get ready to take a quick break and mm-hmm. come on back to this bitch. 5150 forever, nigga. All
51 motherfucking 50 in the motherfucking house. Mm. It don't stop. It don't stop. This week in Sacramento, it was people like, Corey, sing one of the songs. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was awkward. <laughs> so, yeah, this week is hmm. kind of weird. Go. You know, I always come up with a motherfucking song that's a motherfucking classic on the 5150 side of the motherfucking game. Mm. Hit it. <clears throat> yeah, let's go back to some shit we was talking about earlier. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> we gon' get it right tonight. Bring it to the light. Gotta talk about this thing, man. People don't want to say Anyway We gonna put it out there Cause all relationships need To have a song like this play Yeah, yeah I'm taking a bath So that my shit is clean Ooh, yeah, yeah I'm taking a bath So you can on me, yeah, let's talk about it, babe, when we first started, you farted, and it fucked up my damn night, then you got better, got naked, like everything the fuck was alright, yeah, you can't be a in my presence No you can't Wash your ass You got to be clean So I can't enjoy shit I don't know how it sounded But I'm talking about this right here yet. I'm taking a bath So that my shit is clean Taking a bath So shit's clean so you can lick on me Lick on me With confidence Acting like I'm so Now you know girl When I take my hat off I know it's smelling the room But that's cause that head Been sweating With the fish scales You know I can read My brain be working overtime So it be funky at night That's why I go in there And get some shampoo And shampoo it down You know what I mean girl don't judge me by the shape of my head, judge me by the shape of my heart. You know I'm Zoe, the philosopher. I can help you with your relationship. I can counsel y'all and get y'all together and bring confidence. But I'm not confident enough to take this hat off. You know why? I'ma tell you why, I'ma tell you why. Cause he ain't taking the bath so that his shit is clean. Damn the hook without all that motherfucker. <laughs> Take it back so you can't lick on me. Lick on me. Check it out now, girl. Ain't no sour smells that make your eyes swell. Ain't no easy puss that make you cough and hoof. It ain't no musty shirt that make your food burp. It ain't no funky crib. With a toilet stool full with shit That's what's up If you come in my life Like my wife This here we This here what we gon' do I'm gon' make sure my ass Is clean with no poo Clean with no poo Darling, come on in Tell them about it, huh? <laughs> I knew you weren't gonna say shit. You threw me off because you know I don't be taking a lot of baths. You don't take baths? What you do? You take showers? You take showers and you rinse it off. It's like a waterfall. That's what make a nigga cough. You gotta boil that thing so it don't smell strange. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Taking a bath so that my shit is clean. Taking a bath so my shit is clean. I'm 
have so you can lick on me and it don't smell musty well maybe a little bit because i walked to the bed mm. Hard people didn't know. I'm taking a bath, so we're frankly at work. I'm with Genevieve. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got it, motherfucker. <laughs> they look like little mini turds. Speaking of poo, speaking of poo. <laughs> what the fuck is up, y'all? Oh, Ow. Hey, man, I want to tell y'all this shit, man. <sighs> Last week that trade shit was a motherfucker. Them motherfuckers made sure the Lakers didn't get that boy. Mm. They didn't want the Lakers to have Anthony Davis, goddammit. And I'm gonna tell you why. Cause Rich Paul is the motherfucking agent who is LeBron homeboy, which basically is putting LeBron in charge of the league, and they ain't finna let all them niggas do what the fuck they wanna do. LeBron, Rich Paul, Magic Johnson, they like you niggas will not dictate the championship. So that's why the fuck they didn't let the Lakers get motherfucking uh, uh, <laughs> Anthony Davis wow. because motherfucker, that's basically like these niggas running this shit now. These mm. niggas making all of the motherfucking moves. Somebody say taking a bath and taking a bath and try, taking a bath and try, taking, taking a bath, bath try. try. Taking what? Anyway, what? fuck huh? it. <laughs> yeah, all this shit going on in the NBA, man. Them motherfuckers about to stop all that shit. They about to change and rewrite the rules because all that free agency That's shit. What I'm they do when they don't like, it. yeah. Man, I'm glad. I'm glad that boy got another chance to play some football. The running back who was with the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, he got kicked off the team. He got kicked off the team because he had a, uh, a altercation it? in the hallway with oh, this that bitch. Oh, one, yes. Oh, yeah. I think I read him, no? They did get rid of him, but the Cleveland Browns signed him oh, because oh. this guy is very talented. Okay. And like I say, I'm glad he got the opportunity. His name is Kareem Hunt. Thank you, okay. um, Jeff um, Supergoon. G Fee Supergoon. Whatever the fuck your weird ass mm. name is. G Fee. A nigga named G Fee. Kareem Hunt. Okay. Yeah, Kareem Hunt. That's his name. And, uh, you know, because, you know, the. People talk shit about athletes make a lot of money. Let me tell you something. You don't get to make a lot of money as a running back. Your window is very Football short. Period. If you're not one of those... Outs- you're not a quarterback. There you go. One of those standout stars that kind of make a brand for yourself or whatever name. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not a motherfucking quarterback, it's a cold game because they feel like... And they're not looking you know out what I'm saying? The, the, the quarterbacks, they pay them, and they only pay them because most quarterbacks, they're going to find a way to make them Caucasian quarterbacks, and they're willing to give the Caucasian position a certain amount of money. But they got brothers that they wind up giving their money to, but they always find a way to get rid of them, give them bad press, Make it seem like something wrong with them. You know you what know, I'm saying? Quarterbacks get the least hits, so their brains aren't as. Well, nowadays, yeah, these quarterbacks now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think it's unfair how the league, uh, the, the NFL, calls the games the way they want to call the games on some of them quarterbacks, because they still let them guys fall on Cam Newton. They want Cam Newton to get hurt. Mm. <laughs> That's not fair. It's not fair at all. They got this little young, fast dude who played quarterback at Oklahoma. And he won the Heisman Trophy, which is probably the highest individual award you can win in college football. He got drafted by the Oakland A's in the first in the first round, mm. baseball. But he's wow. also oh, so he's one of those bonos. Yeah, he's he 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 may be one of the first guys ever to get drafted in the first round in baseball and the first round in football. Ooh. I hope he gets drafted first round in it's football. Like Bo Jackson, didn't he too? Bo Jackson didn't get drafted in the first round no, in both but he sports. Still Nobody. Both very successful. He yeah. Good. Bo and mm. Deion Sanders. Oh, that's true. Deion did. Yeah, you're right. Dancing Deion. He's got another <laughs> show. He's got a show on ESPN now. Oh, uh, he does? Mm-hmm. Oh, and by up. the way, oh, and thanks, um, Keyshawn Johnson. They were talking about me on their on their podcast. Oh, did they? Mm-hmm. What'd they say? I got the tail end of it, and thanks, Martine. Remember Martine from um, Fox Hall? You bullshit. Shut up. I'm anyway, so he was smart. listening to the podcast on the way to work the other day, and they heard it. So I, you can go online and look for it, but it's it's him and two other guys, a white dude and another brother. I'm scared of Keyshawn Johnson. Anyway, that was cute. He Keyshawn, said, you don't smile. I mean, we was playing oh, really? basketball. I think he smiles a lot. Well, I don't know. Maybe he smiled with you. No, no, no. I'm saying in like pictures and interviews, not with me. I'm talking no, about he not kid. no smiling, cheesing ass really? nigga. If you notice him on ESPN when he talk, he's like whoop de woo, whoop de woo, whoop de woo. Okay, okay. Not That's on, what's not up. on camera, but anyway. Okay. I played some ball with him. He probably that was back before anybody knew me. Oh, okay. It was when I first moved out here. Oh, when he had the club, that club was fire. I heard about his club. Ooh, that was when I first there. moved out here. Oh, you should have went. That thing was fire. I missed that club. 
And then the I forgot what's the name chick, of it. Side chick shot it up. Rain. Rain. In Beverly Hills. And those Beverly Hills folks wanted him out of there so bad. It was one of the only black establishments. Get this nigga shit out of here. And then the side broad going and shot it up. What, one of his side broads? That was word on the street was that the side piece had some people shoot it up. And mm. down after that. Mm. Not with people in it, but just like ruined it. Like, it's a cold world out here. The things people do out of spite and... Yeah, yeah, like what? Like what did Man. that get you? Did you think like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, did you think that the guy was gonna now come? I mean, I don't get it. You're that what was mad that club? The Dynasty. Yes. Yeah, Didn't something that like one. that also happen at the Dynasty? Some yes, girl they, he was fucking with. They robbed. Him, set yeah. him up to get robbed, and mm-hmm. they killed him. The old, old dude. <laughs> he was so nice. Yeah, he used to come down there to the foxhole when we was doing it down there. He used to have minks and oh, shit he'd on. Oh, walk in with a mink. Little fella, little short fella. He's a floor length mink. I love it. I He's love so it. I ain't forgot that, that shit. Do all that stuff for money and stuff. Yeah. Man, if you out here shining, man, you better watch what the fuck you out. got up under you, man. Yeah. I'm here to tell you who you mm-hmm. got up under you. I say that to my good brother who I root for all the time, Chris Brown. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, look, yeah. you ain't got. The, I mean, your posse got to be on motherfucking point. You Bitches got to get out. filtered yeah. in. Well, they proved that case in um in um Paris about that, him not yeah, being guilty. Yeah, because see, that was some BS. That was some bullshit. So yeah, they 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 figured it all out. Didn't even have to. Didn't even go any further than that. But I'm saying whatever it is, like I really feel like we have to put our egos down, ego down as an entertainer and understand. And be careful. Um, yeah. The way I'm talking is just blunt. Bitches have to be filtered in. I know you think I I don't need that. I can go out here and get. Yeah, I know you can go out here and get. Not only the girl, a case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Bitches need to be filtered in when you got that paper, man. Right. Bitch, and, you know and, what it is. And supposedly they're still they're doing stuff like that. They do. They take away their phone. Remember that there was a couple a couple of times last year. I think a girl, older woman, that was trying to get all up on his bus and stuff. And and they told her, you know, like they're confiscating all the phones. I think there's a piece of paper you got to fill. All that you got to go that far. It's, it's wise to do it like that, sure. man. You can't motherfucking have just any motherfucker up under you with a motherfucking recording device. Mm-hmm. And even <laughs> that doesn't stop people from just tripping, Right, people see? find a way to get because they got them recording devices now that you don't see, like cop cam and all that shit. Mm-hmm. You see that shit? They got motherfucking, what, they used to be some fucking FBI oh, right. equipment. Oh, yeah, we used to have A stuff. wire and we all that shit. No, you have a pen. It looks like a pen. It's like this little, it's like this pen right here and it's just in your clothes. Now they have them right here and you can put it right where a pen, where, where a button is on a girl's blouse. I mean, it's just so. I got a chitlin bucket. Bitches never want to touch that. They be like, oh, you eat that? Oh, just put it right there. Put it right here, right? Okay, right there, bitch. All right, let's go. Stop. But anyway, <laughs> no, you got to, you got to be, you eat. You got to at least try to be wise and awake and aware of these people. So It's a cold world out here, man. Y'all motherfuckers got to understand, man. Be careful. Even if you ain't rich, just be careful when any stranger is around you. When any stranger is around you, you have to just cool out and see who the fuck this is. Mm-hmm. Don't even be scared to ask. Like, who is this? Where you know him from? Because that's what motherfuckers do on the street. This your man? Where you know him from? Mm-hmm. Don't even speak to the motherfucker. <laughs> who is well, this? Well, Bow Wow's situation was different. That was his lady supposedly that was his real girl that was his real girl yeah like his woman that he lives with and everything i don't know if they got married after i didn't i don't know what's happening with you bow wow but let me tell you something man once you get to the point where y'all motherfucking in the street like that fighting uh it might be time not to you can't fix that shit leave that shit alone little George young brother Lopez shirt, why not yeah i went to the concert there they what oh they said george lopez shirt really yeah like, george yeah, lopez shirt yeah Went people, to concert shit. You know, people just say shit. They want to say something. Like, yeah, they proud. talked about my sweater the whole I'm first half of the show. Fuck y'all, nigga. Exactly. Nigga. This purple sweater sexy and it's soft. Got them. Feel like um, mm-hmm. gay nigga chess here. Yeah, Frank He does, I guess. Yeah, Bow Wow, poor thing. Yeah, I guess he does. Have it because he shows Somebody say Bow Wow has a temper. Shit, well, he got his ass whooped. That's terrible. <laughs> Bow Wow, I'm, I'm laughing, but I'm just saying, terrible. nigga. Yeah, no. You took an L, goddamn. When you go that far with somebody like that, it's time to go. It's just as that's a. When y'all motherfuckers, both of y'all in jail, homie, yeah. I mean, you can't fix that. Leave mm-hmm. that shit alone, man. No, you fighting like that, arguing like that? Nah. It was his real girl, and those were real scratches. No, there you go, young general. Thanks for that. Somebody say I look like a diabetic Smurf. That was a good one. Great, babe. That's silly. I'm finna go home and watch motherfucking uh, the Black Panther again. I wanna. Mm. I want to see um, Forrest Whitaker say the Black Panther. I can't. 
I'm over just hold his breath and talk. Well, I'm not. I'm about to go meet up with all these damn. I want to see who's there. That's why we finna wrap this shit up early, dude. Ah! Somebody say. They're gonna be mad at, now. They're gonna be mad at me. Snuggle jacket. Fuck y'all, nigga. Anyway, mm. everybody who subscribed to motherfucking I Star Vids, Corey Hogan 5150 Freedom Show. Man, y'all motherfuckers don't know, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm trying to get, I'm finna get this shit cracking. This is finna be some exclusive shit that I would say probably in about a month or two. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers trying to get on board because I'm about to motherfucking shoot this I mean, video. There's no limit, right? I, mean, I won't put no porn on there. See, I can do what the fuck I want to do. I'm not gonna put porn on there, but I'm gonna put soft porn. Yeah, I know what soft what porn mean, is. Like, we don't have to take our clothes off. No, soft porn. Time. People have clothes off, but they don't show the penis. They don't show penetration. So what they is just, that? That's like they just show people naked over, naked. like ugh, ugh, so ugh, like so Pablo you say, <laughs> right? Well, oh. you can simulate, but you can be naked, and you could. You they just don't show the insertion. They don't show penetration. I'm gonna have soft porn. I'm gonna have soft porn of me. Um, Videotaping crackheads yeah, fucking. Yeah, I'll have a feet segment. Yeah, a little foot segment. No. Oh, Why not? <laughs> I'm going to have my own. What the fool said that you charged I have up? a lot of people that want to look at my feet. I'm going to have a soft porn video on my iVids thing. It's not going to show fucking. They just go show people. Ugh, ugh. Somebody said dry. I mean, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Uh, no, please. No, somebody said no, not at all. I'm not doing it. I'm not having soft porn. I'm going to have people that you might want to watch. Do have. I want to be a part? No, I want to stick my foot up in there on the side in the corner. I'm going to have R. Kelly. I'm going to get him to <laughs> come on there and sing a song at a grammar school assembly. Was, that was fucked up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. I can see R. Kelly out of grammar school with Sibley singing his shit. Bitch, come here. Oh, I got something to promote for this weekend. What? Uh, even though you've already mm, you've given me your take on that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm doing a cyclothon for the YMCA, which I instruct at. And there's it's from it's from 8 a.m. <laughs> to, to 12 p.m., but I'm doing the 11 o'clock. Uh, the 11 a.m. segment. So if you want to come and join, you don't have to be a member, and you can donate anything. It says $30 on some of the flyers, but you can donate 10 20 25 30 whatever you want. And, again, it's to help. And I don't know if you knew this because when you were saying that, I was like, oh, well, he doesn't care. But, anyway, because, you know, the why looked out for me. I even wrote about them in my book. You want to videotape? What do you mean? You can't because if you show any of the other people, you have to get their – you have to have them write Lock off. Lock their faces so. up. You could if you want. But anyway, so I'm going to do it. So anybody can come. You can come and you can, you know, come in the facility. I won't be in town. And then after, oh, that's too bad because then after, whoever comes to do my segment, the 11 a.m. or 1130, I'm sorry, um, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to do some weight training on my gravity machine afterwards. So whoever joins, comes and joins like the I'm first eight get to people, see how D back built. D. I'm going to show them how to do some nice, good. D got a nigga yeah. back. Shut up. I want to punch somebody. So, you know, if I, I want to be successful at it. But anyway. Um, Alright so we are gonna wrap this week's show up I wanna tell everybody who fucked with us this week That we appreciate you Thank you for sticking through the process Thank you for not aborting that baby And be like fuck it we'll keep it um, I am Corey Holcomb This is 5150 Nichols <laughs>